to that nigga bad, bad I'm too good with these words, watch a nigga bad track If I die, all I know is I'm a motherfucking legend It's too late for my city, I'm the youngest nigga rapping Oh my God, oh my God, if I die If I die, I'm a legend Oh my God, oh my God If I die If you are returning, hello. If you are new, hey, I'm Venus. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So, um, yeah, it's been a long time, y'all. So, it's a couple of videos that y'all have seen already to kind of set us off right. And this one, this one is just going to be a weekend in my life as an entrepreneur, an entrepreneur in the 9 to 5, and just kind of being able to um, take y'all with me to see what that's like. So what y'all have probably already seen is one of my good, good, good friends had her birthday party last night. And so I went to that. We went to a hotel here called the Starlight or the Starlit, Starlight something. Um, yeah, the Starlight or something. Anyway, um, we went to that hotel. Very cute. It's near Colony Square. It was the old... I don't want to lie. I don't. I want to say Hilton, but maybe it wasn't. Anyway, or no, 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 no. It was the old um, W in Midtown. So now they have turned it into like this boutique, like hotel. Very, very cute. If you are a content creator or just want some really cute photos, ten out of ten, highly recommend. Then we went to Club Cheetah. <laughs> Never been there. Um, and honestly. Mm -hmm, mm, Mm, probably won't go back unless like one of my friends want to go I I it was okay um and the food was okay um so I don't know I, I feel like Atlanta like there's certain places where they hype stuff up and it it gives but maybe my expectations are too high because of them hyping stuff up and so when I actually go there it's like what's happening um also my lash I, I don't know what's going on y'all like y'all see how it's like real it, it it's it stands out you know what I'm saying and then this one over here I don't know I don't know so we'll fix it we'll fix it we'll fix it um but anyway, I wanted to hop on real quick just to introduce the vlog to you guys. We are going to just be doing the damn thing in this one because we have an action-packed weekend. Blank has hit a growth spurt. So if you are new here, I am a business owner of an online boutique called blankwardrobe.com. So yeah, we have a lot, lot going on this weekend. So yeah, it's action-packed. Uh, Blank has hit a growth spurt. And if you guys are new here, um, I did not know I own a fashion brand called Blank Wardrobe and it's a women's apparel um, line, um, an online store that uh, sells kind of like edgy basics, things that you can build your wardrobe or create your wardrobe with. So that has hit a growth spurt, you guys. So I we can get into it at another time because I want to keep this short, but we have to pack up some orders and doing that every day, inspect and store, inspect and store some inventory. So you'll see that. Um, also shooting some content. You'll be able to see that we did get to shoot one of the new releases. I wore that last night. You will see that clip as well. The outfit um, that I actually shot that will, that blazer will be dropping this upcoming week. And then, um, yeah, that's kind of it. Um, I think for me, the kind of 
crazy part about having a business and also having the nine to five and then, you know, having friends and, you know, dealing with family and things like that. It's just that you, time gets eaten up and you have to balance time. So last night, you, I think I recorded some of it, but if not, you'll see the results of it. We actually had a photo shoot um, at the hotel that my friend was having her birthday at because I needed to get content. And as much as I hate it because I do like to be in a moment, I do carve that time out where I'm just in a moment and things is not about business. This weekend, I just had to because the previous week was, ex was um, I was going to say expensive. Expensive with time. It was with time. It was expensive, but it was just a lot going on last week. My brother got married the previous weekend. My parents came down. So it was just a lot going on. Um, and yeah, so we were kind of behind it. Like I said, blank hit a growth spurt. So I've been just trying to keep up with everything. Um, and so, yeah, we had to shoot right before. Um, I did not fit her party theme. She had a party theme of, of like the seventies. I did not fit that party theme because yeah, I had to get the content. And unfortunately those are kind of the sacrifices that you have to make. Um, in order to just make it all fit and work when you are limited on time when you're juggling both. So anyway, when people ask me, how do you juggle both? I don't juggle both. Something's going to have to give. I'm going to have to sacrifice something. And unfortunately, last night I had to sacrifice the the thing because it's, it's near Halloween. Tomorrow's Halloween. And so she had a theme, but I, I couldn't really fit the theme. Um, so anyway, I'll insert clips of that in the results of, of that outfit. Um, we had a good time nonetheless. Um, it's always good to hang out with her. But yeah, I think what I'm going to do is take y'all over. Um, I got a couple of packages um, that came in because like I said, with the with blank had hitting a growth spurt, we ran out of packaging. So I'm going to show y'all the packaging that we currently have that's basically gone from this week alone. And then like I got the first batch of some of the packaging that came in with just polymellers. I need to order some boxes and things like that. So yeah, I feel like I talked a lot. Um, I don't know. Anywho, let's go look at these packages. So like I was saying, this is this was full of polymellers. There's nothing in here. These this is all that's left of the ones that I used for like accessories. And the, this is just like the clear plastic. So we literally, quite literally, have nothing. Um, here are some boxes. I don't use the UPS packaging that much, but that they are we was gonna have to figure it out and and, and y'all was gonna have to get those if you do order because we ran out y'all cleaned us out um as you can see there's no boxes um in my bathroom which is a hot mess in here um and also like storage um there are some boxes but not really so we we literally y'all we ran out of stuff and so Anyway, let me set y'all up so that we can, I can kind of show you guys, I can kind of show you guys what we have. So I got a couple of things from Amazon and to be honest with you, I don't know, I can't remember what I ordered. Oh, this is cute. Let me see if I can, I don't like the lighting. So let me see if I can. There we go. That's a lot better. Okay. So now that I have y'all set up. <laughs> so anyway, the first package is from Amazon and I had ordered a couple of things. Like I needed some ribbon and things like that from Amazon. But then I saw these glasses that I wanted to get. They are, they just popped up on my, on my like feed. You know, like how you go to the homepage on Amazon and it shows you like suggestions based off of how you shopped before so that's what these are so it comes in this box they are by van link van linker um so let's see it comes with a um what do you call this a uh, cloth to wipe your glasses down okay they're bigger than what i thought let's see let's see what they give in
Mm, they are bigger. So let's see. Um, what y'all think? Are they giving? Are they cute? So y'all can see it has like a little design on here. And it, it's kind of giving me a Celine vibe, maybe like Celine dupes. Y'all let me know. Um, they look different than what I thought. So I don't know if I'm excited about them, but I think they, they, they kind of look cute. What y'all think? Like, is it, is it giving fashion? Is it giving, what is it giving? Of course, like with the robe, it, everything looks bad. This actually, these probably would have looked, um, I should have opened this yesterday because these probably would have looked um, kind of good with the outfit I had on last night because I wore all black. Those probably would have looked cute. But yeah, I think I like these. Um, Amazon, on a kind of side note, if you um, want some sunglasses and you don't want to spend like a whole bunch of money on them and you want like dupes or just like really good quality or decent quality, um, I would highly suggest Amazon. My last three pair that y'all have probably seen if you follow me on Instagram or follow Blank's account on Instagram that I wore when I was selling outfits were from Amazon. But anyway, yes, this is the ribbon. The last couple of times they they've been like leaving the other side, you know what I'm saying, of the ribbon. So this is the ribbon. Um, if you've ever ordered from Blank Wardrobe, you have had your order tied with these. Um, so this is the ribbon for right now. As we are growing, um, tying this ribbon and things like that, like it's not really that time consuming. But I am thinking of like how it is it scalable to individually tie each bundle, and so I know that. I can look on Alibaba and places like that to get pre-tied ribbon because um, I still want to keep ribbons, you know, like I, I like the feel of it, like the luxury feel of it. So I'm going a, I'm to a keep the ribbon. I just got to figure out how to scale that. And then, of course, the polymellers, at least a portion of them. Um, so I don't, I don't, I'm not going to go through all of them. I'm just going to show y'all what they look like. I got two sizes. One is this, um, the smaller kind of medium size. So it's a little bit bigger. Let me see. than the one that y'all just saw. Um, so that's what they look like. It just has blank wardrobe on it. White, um, very clean. And then I got some of the larger sizes. And this is for larger orders. Anything that's a little bit bigger than these polymellers go into a box. So that's why I said I have to order boxes. So this is the bigger size. So as y'all can see, it don't even fit the frame. So anyway, that's that in terms of things that I have. Sticker Mule. One thing about Sticker Mule, baby, they going to be good for giving you a sticker, Chad. Like, look. If, if anybody from Sicker Mule who worked for Sicker Mule, like, it, and a coaster, which great quality if y'all, like, maybe, I used to, like, actually add coasters to um, packaging or to orders um, just because it's, like, a good freebie with blank wardrobe on it. Um, and I might go back to that because um, I'm looking at revamping the packaging, like I was saying, with the ribbon and things like that. But, um... Y'all, y'all, if y'all see my orders for a uh, sicker, this is for sicker mule. When my orders come in, y'all, y'all can skip adding uh, coasters and stickers to mine. Uh, it's only so many places I'm gonna be able to put this, and, and I, I don't have no more places. So, um, respectfully and humbly, uh, these might go in the trash because, like, I order from y'all a lot, and I, I, I just don't have a lot of. Um, I, I just don't have no spaces to put this in. This don't necessarily fit my aesthetic. And I, you know, don't really work for Sticker Mule, so I'm not going to have this everywhere. But I love these coasters. Um, the stickers, good quality. I get it. Um, but y'all can humbly and respectfully, uh, if y'all see Blank Wardrobe order come through, go ahead and take it at. Um, yeah. All right, y'all. So we taking this Blank Blazer out on the town tonight um this is a new release y'all getting the first preview of it or actually it might be released before y'all see it but hit the site it might still be something left it, I, I don't know yet but um anyway 
This is a new release. It's not on the site yet. I decided to pair it with our infamous vegan faux leather leggings. These have been going crazy. Y'all have been loving this for fall. Um, obviously, they will take you into winter and also into uh, spring. Um, definitely a classic piece. And then I, I paired it with my YSL bag. And yeah, we got um, Blink Wardrobe Accessory Shop on the neck, on the ears, and also on the finger. Uh, yeah, so we, we kind of Blink Wardrobe down beyond the uh, shoes. These are from Zara from last year. And then, of course, YSL. I don't sell YSL. You gotta go to a YSL store to get that. Um, but yeah, simple look. A little satin, a little something, something. A little sophisticated sexiness. Uh, getting into it. about to um head to shoot and uh yeah it is a strong 81 degrees y'all but we shooting some coats ponchos i got on this turtleneck um these uh faux leather pants some booties i'm hot <laughs> it is hot i'm burning up the air conditioner is on all the way on on blast because i'm hot so you you might you can't really see it in the camera but the coats and stuff or the coat and the poncho is, is hanging in the back but yeah we <laughs> we about to it's fall like this is atlanta so if you live in atlanta you know how atlanta weather is it is clearly november it should be cooler but in atlanta you when it gets to november december since you can be sitting on a patio having a mimosa like it is a summer day um and that's what it feels like with the leaves changing and all of that but customers everywhere you know from california to new york dc everywhere up north michigan my home state and so yes it is very cold in michigan i know for sure um because i've still got people there um so yeah you know I'm going to be hot and I'm going to be sweating and I'm probably going to be looking crazy where we're about to shoot because everyone else is probably going to be wearing shorts or jeans and light stuff and I'm wearing heavy stuff. So when y'all see the pictures, the videos on Instagram, make sure y'all follow us. I'll put it up on the screen. Um, give me a like because of that. Go purchase the coat because of that. The sacrifice. <laughs> anyway, let me stop. Um, I yeah we gon we gon uh keep it moving and uh yeah i'm gonna take y'all with me um so y'all can see how we shoot uh the content and all that good stuff so when we hit up colony square i will turn y'all back on so i lied i did want to talk about something because um I don't know it's on my spirit to talk very quickly y'all know when i say very quickly sometimes it don't be that but we gonna <laughs> we gonna tighten it up anyway um alfred and i were talking about um y'all know takeoff and the migos and things like that and that whole situation just like how things are starting to unfold in terms of what happened and uh, for those of you who don't know i'm originally from detroit the city proper and siri you know she gonna come in like she do <laughs> um but yeah, I'm from Detroit, the city proper, and um, I think it taught me a lot growing up just about like your circle. You know, I tend to keep a small circle. I'm not, it's not necessarily that I don't like people. I'm an extrovert, I like people, I like being around people. Uh, I, I really do enjoy and get my energy from uh, connecting with people, especially people that 
um, I'm just inspired by for various reasons. But at the same time, I think growing up in a city, it has just been something in the back of my mind where I just don't, I, I, I keep a small circle and it's intentional. And I think, of course, in that situation, I don't know all of the details. I wasn't there. I'm not, I'm far, 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 far from that situation. But just with some of the details that came out, it just reminded me of how you really do have to be, you know, cognizant, a little, uh, what's the word? I can't think of it. Discerning of the people that you have with you and know that, you know, people don't always have the best intentions for you. I've been in several situations where, you know, things could have turned um, left because of me allowing certain people Here's in my space and they probably shouldn't have been there in the first place. Um, so, you know, you just, I think, I always look at lessons that can be pulled out of kind of fucked up situations. And I think this is kind of one of those things where you just, you really do have to be discerning and be careful with who you hang out with and who you allow in your close circle. Now, I'm not saying that you can't hang out with people and, and you know, have fun and do things like that. But I definitely think when you start having your close tight knit circle that that should be small because you just don't know what people's intentions are, are. and um it could be dangerous for you to to uh allow too many people in that kind of sacred space and so um a lot of people will look at you probably funny because of that and say that you act funny or you whatever I, recently i've actually had some people who i used to kind of mess with and they we were close you know and make a comment about that but i mean you at the end of the day you got you more than you got that other people got you Turn okay up. so you have to do what you feel comfortable with and and be unapologetic about that i mean you know that's i mean going back to my brand with blank wardrobe we're all about that through fashion through style but also just through the content about being unapologetically you and if that's something that you do then that's something that you do and you don't apologize for that um, because it could save your life like I said I'm far removed from that situation but um, just from what I've heard and just I don't know you we, we all just speculate okay Stay from the outside the and it just that was one of the things where I was like damn like you know if it was a private party and like theoretically you kind of know those people or the people who were inviting those people knew those people who potentially did something you, you get what I mean like it's just like kind of mind-blowing to me because we've all been in situations where we've been in close parties or private parties and the you trust that the, the people that the, the the host is is inviting are good people and sometimes they not you know what I'm saying so anywho um I just want to pop in and say that because it just was on my heart to share um anywho we almost at the at colony square uh colony square is a dope Go space for way. eating yeah, um turn also up. siri going listen i'm just gonna turn y'all on when we get there child it's it's a nice fall day in atlanta i cannot believe this but almost would love it if it was not <laughs> Are you want to stay more towards the brunchy items or kind of kicking the lunch menu? Probably. Mm -hmm. I was looking at the pasta bolognese. The bolognese? That yeah. one's really good. That's super traditional. So it's going to be like a, a red meat sauce um, okay. with the fettuccine noodles. Okay. Um, if you like stuff, also like ravioli. The ravioli is also magro, so it's going to be a, a spinach with cottage cheese. It's going to be surrounded uh, surrounding a mound of lump crab meat. Okay. Have some toasted almonds on top of that as well. That one's super good. That's oh, a white, white, white sauce though. Um, super creamy, super rich, but it's probably my favorite. Mm. Awesome. I think I'm gonna go with that. I was gonna go say, that yeah, one. that one. That one. It, do you have some, something yeah. that's lighter to complement that maybe? Because could we split that one? So that's gonna be a relatively small portion. Oh, a small, um, okay, never mind. So it's definitely not a split item. Um, now, if you're doing two entrees, you kind of want to like mix and match. Right, yeah. yeah. Um, that's do you want to go somewhere more on the red sauce way or you want to stick with both whites? 
We can do a red sauce. Yeah, red sauce. Red. Um, I would definitely stick with the either the bolognese, um, or if you want to do the spago pomodoro. That one's gonna be a little bit lighter, so think more like chunky red tomatoes. Um, but it is a vegetarian option, so it's not gonna have a lot of protein in it. Um, so it's relatively lighter. Um, but I add chicken to that one whenever I do get it. Or when I get like a, a slice of chicken on top of that. And that's my go-to when it comes to like my red sauce. I'm not a huge red sauce person. And I'm not a huge like red meat person. So I do that one and just add chicken to it. That okay. sounds good. Cool. Do that? Yeah. So do the spago pomodoro with chicken and the uh, regulated Boston Magra? Yes. Cool? Yeah. Perfect. Thank you. Absolutely. So you guys, we're trying a restaurant to go. Um, it's called Serena... Serena something. It's a. Uh, it's still at. Um, where are we at? Colony Square. So it's still at Colony Square, but it's Serena. Like you come up the escalators, it's the restaurant with the beautiful like patio with the green grass and all that. So yeah, we gonna see what it tastes like. I'll let y'all know. Pasta fish. Yeah. <laughs> Serena something. Serena, say it again. Pasta fichio. Pasta fichio. Pasta fichio. Serena. Pasta fichio. Pasta fichio. Pasta fichio. What does it mean? Um, pasta house. Okay. Um, so basically, we make all our pasta in house fresh daily. Oh, nice. Okay. It's a chef Alberto Vision from North Italy. Oh, nice. Oh, so you can actually, when you first walk in that door, that little bit of, bye, have a good night, or good day. <laughs> um, when you first walk in the door, that little window, when you walk in, um, that's actually where he does all the pastas every day. Oh, okay. Um, so you can see him stuffing the pasta, uh, rolling out and doing the linguine, the fettuccine. Okay. Um, he actually makes the false magro um, raviolis. Okay. Um, he makes all that fresh every single day. Nice. We'll definitely be coming back. We'll probably do like a day night here. Yeah, we want to actually Today sit. We'll... All right, you guys. So I wanted to come. This is Future Venus coming to close out the vlog because I'm about to edit this today and um, get it up so that you guys can see. But I also want to talk to you guys about what to expect next. And also tell y'all, I know I talked about going to a cheetah, but not a red scent. Was, is this a red scent? Not red scent. I don't, anyway, none of that was thrown, y'all. I, I kept it. I decided to just um, go ahead and keep my money. Um, but yeah, anywho, uh, for next up um, on this channel will be a, because I'm currently basically filming both of these. It's a week in a life, which will happen next week. Um, the next video after this one is going to be a Sunday reset. We're going to talk about mental health. We're going to talk about um, that in context of if you're juggling being an entrepreneur and you're nine to five, like why that is even more essential to being able to juggle both of them. That Sunday reset, baby, is hardcore. It's it's a necessity. Um, we're talking about the Sunday scaries. Y'all know, y'all have heard about that, all of those things and just how that really gets your mind right and ready for the rest of the week. And then the weekend of life is going to be similar to the weekend of life, but just a little bit more things, obviously, because it's not just the weekend, it's just the week. Um, in that one, we'll talk about uh, some photo shoots, you know, packing up orders, all the typical things, but there's going to be some other things that you are probably curious about in terms of just balancing both the nine to five and the entrepreneurship and just kind of daily life. And then, yeah, um, feel free to leave uh, in the comments below, like what you will, what you would like to see. I'm kind of throwing things at the wall at this point and giving y'all kind of like a sampler of what type of content y'all can expect when y'all come here. But of course, I'm doing this for you guys so that you guys can get something from it. So um, of course, let me know what y'all want me to talk about. It could be anything related to business or uh, just in general. So just um, in the comments below, let me know. But yeah, I'm gonna let y'all get to it. And thank you for watching this video. A comment, like, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will holler at y'all in the next video. Bye-bye.